I'm Susan Egan, and I was in the very first graduating class of OSHA so, so many years ago. I just confessed something to Mr. Sherman today, and that is the very first year of OSHA, it was my senior year of high school, and we did a very illegal production of, of Mary Poppins. <laughs> have a pretty significant Disney history, other than just, you know, living here and going to Disneyland as a kid. Um, yes, I was involved in Disney's very first Broadway show, which was Beauty and the Beast, which happened to also be my very first Broadway show, and I got to play um, Belle, which was incredible. Uh, but even before that, I had met uh, Richard Sherman through Bruce Kimmel, who's part of the program today, because Bruce is an album producer, and I did a couple of albums where I had the great good fortune of recording some uh, Sherman Brothers music, so that was pretty awesome. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake, a log, a spring. It's very clear to see that a spoonful of sugar. Richard's music is the soundtrack to so many of our childhoods. When I was growing up, it was the music of uh, Richard that that changed everything from Mary Poppins to um, even non-Disney things like Chitty Bang Bang. Um, it's, a, it's truly the most melodic, happiest music that can transport you out of wherever you are into this realm of magic. And then when I met the man, you know, they tell you sometimes, be careful when you meet your heroes, but in this case, he surpassed every expectation. He is as delightful and beautiful as every single song he's written. I mean, you meet him and you recognize instantly where all of that music came from. It's interesting because Richard's music, I think more than anybody else's, is completely universal. I mean, It's a Small World is known worldwide and is a song that brings people together. For a composer is to write something that sounds simple. A lot of composers, especially young ones, go very complicated um, because they think that sounds uh, I don't know, more interesting or something. The, the simpler the song, the harder it is to write, and Richard is a master of writing a simple song that immediately just becomes part of your molecular makeup. Everybody knows this music. It's, it's literally in our cells. You can travel on the highway of your life. One is smooth, one has gravel, one has happiness. The students who are going here seem to recognize their good fortune. It's not something they're gonna recognize 10 years down the line, how lucky they were to be here. They seem to know it in the moment, in this instance. And as an artist who comes back, that's the most fulfilling thing. Richard Sherman has been a friend of mine for over 20 years. And when Ralph reached out asking if I knew of anybody who might wanna to come to a master series, I immediately thought of him because I knew the students of OSHA would get it. They would get it, this man is beyond icon status, and they're gonna to get to meet him today and be able to say in 20 years when they come back to OSHA, oh, you know what, I was there that day Richard Sherman was at OSHA. I'll never forget it.